Yeah, my name is Brandon. So really rude. Are not really I really didn't want to just dispose of this solar panel. I, I was wondering if there was any minor repairs I could do um, that you guys would be Huh? So I have a solar panel right now and it just has a bad solder point on the bus bar on it. Um, it's a real simple, I can fix it with like $6 of parts. I don't want to warranty this and I just want to re re fix it myself then that's a whole different section that voids the warranty and you have uh, what what it looks like for that okay um, I'm I'm really interested in going that direction because I don't feel comfortable with dropping this off at a landfill or even, you know, using energy to have it smeltered. Um, I think it's a net negative to put these in the trash when it would literally take me five minutes and six dollars to fix it. Um, that's kind of a moral okay, obligation for me. You are more than welcome to do that. Unfortunately, when you do that, it's going to be warranty. And again, Brandon, you can find that information on our website. Okay, okay. So, so it's like business, and then you'll put in the model number of the warrant of the panel. That and it will pull up the warranty card. It's a five page document. You can definitely read through that, and it'll explain everything about the warranty what voids it, what doesn't. So that makes more sense because, like, you're, you're not saying I can't fix these, you're just saying if I fix it, it's going to void the warranty. So, I have to Correct. let the customer know that. And I have to understand that myself before I make a decision. And then, you know, it is what. That puts you liable. That puts right. you liable. If there's an issue with the panel, we stop being liable for it. It becomes you that's liable. I had a situation where I did warranty a uh, a solar panel, and um, the new solar panel that was sent out wasn't the same footprint as the old one, and it wasn't compatible with the system, and it ended up just being absolutely terrible trying to integrate it into the old yeah. system yeah and if, you, and if you went through a warranty claim any deeper questions you have about that i don't know those cases i don't process those cases i don't know anything about that process Action right there uh, but you can follow up with your email chain if you have any further questions about the warranty one uh, the warranty okay panel. so you know, i'm going to try to clean this up a little bit solder it and put it back email. together oh, okay Okay, that, that, that makes sense. I just, I didn't want to warranty a panel and then have the wrong one sent out and then have to send an email. And that, that's just like, there's no way for me to be in business and to like make money off of that model of like waiting and emails and stuff like that. It just doesn't make sense. I understand, but I don't file those cases because they're not available via file. They are working on cases. They do not have time to make calls. So yeah, if you would bring up your email, Okay, is there is there someone else that I can talk to to get some more information no. on warranty? Brandon, again, again, they are, uh, the warranty card is on the website. Okay. Any questions you have about the warranty claim needs to be followed up with your email chain. Nobody's available via phone to speak with you about a warranty claim. If you have any questions about the warranty itself, they will tell you to speak to the website and download the warranty card and get research. Okay. I, I just feel like I, I have a car that needs an oil change and I'm just gonna take it to the, just take it to the dump because it needs a simple oil change. And so I'm like fundamentally against this. So I, I think what I'm going to do. I, I, I'm just so conflicted because I absolutely love LG products. Absolutely love them. I beta tested a lot of your new stuff. I've been installing for 10 years. And I think you make the highest and best electronics out there. And I'm like a diehard fan. And I just, I really want to see if I can get any more resources from you guys as far as doing like infill swaps or something. Oh, that's going to be via the email. That's going to be the email, okay? 
Okay. In the industry, this is what I've learned. For one, so LG specifically does not want you to work on their solar panels, period. They highly discourage it on a legal side and just verbally do not take them apart, do not repair them, do not fix them, don't do anything to them. And when you get a warranty from a warranty like a replacement solar panel, if the panel is under warranty from LG, in the contract, they make you agree to dispose of the old solar panel, which they say call the EPA, see what the local guidelines are. If you don't have any means of recycling, throw it in the, the landfill. If you do, you can have it like taken apart, smeltered, you know, different minerals um, or elements, um, different parts of the panel could be reused. Aluminum frame, silicone, maybe some silver. Um, but but they, if you do anything to the solar panels, if you repair a, a lead or a solder point, that voids the warranty of the solar panel. And if you warranty the solar panel, you have to throw it in the garbage. Like the uh, LG customer support representative recommended, I just uh, read over um, all of LG's warranty documents. Uh, they're really long. So first I'll include a blog that summarizes it pretty well um, with photos and infographics and whatnot. And then I'll um, include the uh, main warranty if you wanna read over it. If you have a, a, a different manufacturer for your solar panel, on the back side of the panel, sometimes on the front top, you'll be able to see the manufacturer. You can just look it up, search for it, and um, find um, the warranty guidelines for your panels. But let me summarize this. Solar panels generally have two warranties. One is performance and one is manufacturer. The manufacturer warranty is usually five to 10 years, and now sometimes up to 25 or more. And the performance warranty is usually somewhere between, somewhere around that 25 year mark. If there's anything wrong with the panel, um, and it clearly through here excludes everything that could have happened or damaged, anything that could have damaged the panel. It includes sound. If your solar panel was, in, was removed, if it was installed on a mobile home, um, or like a trailer, um, if it was, um, you know, dropped or anything like that, the warranty's 100%, you know, excluded from from that module if there's a manufacturer defect which is this one it looks like it has a bad cell that cell is faulty and it's causing issues in the solar panel then it's covered under warranty a lot of manufacturers are covering that for 25 years um, uh, in the past it's usually a five to ten year warranty now the performance warranty is under standard test conditions which is basically in a lab where they take a light um, at a 90 degree angle, shine it at a thousand watts per meter square at an air mass ratio of 1.2 at a cell temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. All these controlled vari variables, they shine a light on it and they see how much power is put out on a flash. It's called flash testing. Um, for the performance warranty, they can test it and see if that solar panel is putting out enough electricity um, within the warranty. So of its original wattage output. So if your panel is putting out 250 watts on a flash test, but it was rated at 350, it's, you know, it's below that 80% and it's warrantied. I fix these solar panels all the time. I have absolutely no idea on how I would perform a flash test on a solar panel or find any data to verify that um, in order to get a solar panel warrantied. Like the degradation aspect is, I, I don't even understand really how that would work. So that's a little concerning to me, but that warranty is there. Um, some other takeaways I have from here is LG specifically has a labor reimbursement warranty and they will pay, says up to $450 in labor, which is more than what the solar panel originally costs. Probably, might be close. LG's expensive. But if you have a solar panel from LG, it's broken, it's a manufacturer defect, and you have it removed, they'll pay the installer labor. Um, like I said, I'll link all this information below, but um, if you have a solar panel system, 
It's like any other appliance in your home. The sales guy might have told you, hey, it's warrantied forever, it'll never break. But it's just like your dishwasher or your oven or anything. If something goes wrong, you need to call a technician, you need to have the system, you need to have the appliance you know, looked at and it's on you to replace that at the end of the day. Um, kind of unfortunate news for the consumer, but I want to push as much of that responsibility on homeowners um, so that they know, they understand their systems, they understand the warranty, and they make sure that they do the right things in order to, you know, have their system perform the longest and, um, you know, have the least amount of problems or costs associated with that. There's going to be a part two. There's going to be updates to this in the future on how to warranty your solar panels and how to fix your solar panels. But hopefully this video gave you enough information to maybe understand the situation you're in and know where, what direction you need to go.